da 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 Mr. Men, Cheryl the Worm, by Xander Atisano. Cheryl was a worm. She was a very little, happy, kind of clever worm. She wore a little, beautiful bow from the UK, and she lived in a hole at the bottom of Little Miss Sunshine's garden, and she didn't like it. You see, every time it rains, everything in Cheryl's hole got wet. Poor Cheryl. She even didn't have an umbrella with her. When she heard loud footsteps over the ground, she went to see what they were doing. Now one fine morning, Cheryl was having breakfast at the thing she had for breakfast was two cornflakes and a cup of tea. She even didn't have to sit at the table. That's right, because worms like Cheryl hold their teas while drinking them. Have you ever seen a worm do that before? I'm sure I haven't. After breakfast, Cheryl hopped out of her hole and went to see Walter. As you may not know, Walter was her cousin. She has not seen Walter in a while, month at least. Nope. She wheeled across the grass before she could catch her train. Eleven made her before her train might leave, and she was too much in a hurry. When Cheryl got close... To the train station the train had already left but as she got on the deck there was another train the train was in time for her to see her brother and she got there in a hurry suddenly she heard a train crash accident and the engineer of the train was injured and had ended up in the hospital for a whole week with a tail injury and walter's house was a little meter far away where the train had crashed and Cheryl had to take a little boat there. Once Cheryl got on the boat, she was ready to raft and Cheryl was pretty lucky because there were no crocodiles in the river and the crocodiles had gone on a special trip. Cheryl was enjoying her very own boat resting until the boat showed up to the bottom of Mr. Happy's garden where Walter lives. But then something by the feet grabbed at Cheryl and raised her out from the boat and over to the river, and poor Cheryl got carried away by it. Help! Help! She cried. Something's grabbing me, and I'm afraid it's going to eat me! Poor Cheryl looked at the feet, and over the feet was a bird. Put me down! said Cheryl. The bird felt very sorry for Cheryl. What are you doing? asked the bird. To Mr. Happy's house where Mr. Walter lives, said Cheryl. You know, it's a little further down, so I will have to fly you all the way there, said the bird. Cheryl said it was fun, and off they went. They flew miles and miles until they got to Mr. Happy's little cottage. When they got there, the bird dropped Cheryl. Bye, said the bird. Call me when you need a hand. Walter was so surprised when he heard a hello coming through the enter of his hole. When he got up from watching TV. There he found Cheryl, his cousin. Hello, said Walter. Haven't seen you in forever. Same, said Cheryl. What can we do? Asked Cheryl. I know, said Cheryl. Let's go to the beach and we can be flew by the big orange bird who took me here because my morning train broke down and had to get fixed and I had to take a little boat and sail away all the way where you live, but then a big orange bird grabbed for no reason, and I was afraid that he would eat me, and I didn't want that to happen. Oh, really? said Walter. I met this orange bird before Mr. Happy walks while the bird flies me somewhere we like to go, but the first time I met him, he looked very creepy, and it was the same for Mr. Happy. Wow, said Cheryl. It was the same for the Miss Sunshine, and we like to go out together every day, but the first time she saw birds, she was terrified of them. You see... Said Walter. Some people are terrified of birds, but all worms are. And Walter was right. All worms are terrified of birds because birds eat worms. 
Shell decided that her and Walter should go down and have some fun at the beach. Then Walter heard uh, that the beach was a little far from his home, so they went back on the bird. The bird flew five minutes right into the beach as Cheryl and Walter were glad. Because they were glad, the bird took them right into an island. How sweet. They had the most splendid life of their times. They swam, they splashed, and they even built a sandcastle. Just then, Cheryl was feeling very tired, and so was Walter. They called the bird to take them home. Cheryl got dropped off first, and she thanked the bird for taking her home. She even didn't have any rain, and she was so surprised when somebody built a little house over top of her little hole. Cheryl went to sleep. The next morning, it rained and there were no floods in her house. Meet Cheryl the Worm. Cheryl was a worm who lived at the bottom of Little Miss Sunshine's cottage and had a cousin named Walter who lived at the bottom of Mr. Happy's cottage. Found out what adventures Cheryl has. Also, don't miss Walter the Worm. Ba 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 Bum 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 bum!